Now, uh, let's see, regarding the first very circular motion, how uh, are the forces acting on the objects uh, at each time, at any place on the path. Um, in the first real case, you imagine that we have three people here. Two of them are in the very, very well, and the, the other one is standing still. Uh, it's not moving until it's standing next to the uh, very well. One person is at this position, we call it a C. The other one is on the top, top of the very well, and we call it as B. And the person which is standing on the ground, we call it as A. The first thing that we have to know, if you, uh, the sum of the forces here are uh, considered as M times A, or the mass of the object times acceleration. The acceleration um, arrow, or the acceleration vector direction is uh, pointing uh, to the center of the circle, or the center of the circular path. And um, from the object to the center of the circle, the vector, the vectors of the velocity are in the tangent with the circle. And if, the, for example, this Ferris wheel is rotating um, in this direction, which is anticlockwise rotation, uh, it means that the vector's velocity should be at this uh, situation. This. And uh, if it is rotating in the opposite direction, like um, clockwise rotation, so the velocity vector will appear something like this. These are our velocities vectors. If it is rotating clockwise, this one is anticlockwise. person here, she's standing on the floor uh, and it's not moving, it doesn't have any acceleration because it is um, at rest this object. So uh, when it is zero, the acceleration becomes zero, it means that the sum of the forces, as I have written here, would be also equal to mass times g, should be also zero. Position A, because the forces uh, this person is not moving, so there is no acceleration. Acceleration is zero. But we have two forces acting on the person. One of them is the normal force. The other one is the weight of the person, or m times g. And uh, they are in the opposite direction, but they should be in the equal sizes because the person is not moving. And so there is no acceleration. It means that the, um, the forces here, the sum of the forces, should be equal to zero. But the normal force, uh, the size of the normal force, should be equal to the size of the weight. For the person in the position B, forces that are on the top of the ferry wheel um, it will be mg minus normal force equals to m times acceleration, which is normal force here at this place will be. Uh, mass times gravity minus mass times acceleration. So here, at this position, the normal force is much smaller than the weight of the person. This person at this position will have a um, net force, a normal force, which is much more greater than the weight of the person here. So the normal force is much more greater than the weight of the person because the acceleration is upward and it is positive direction. So as you can see here, the normal force is much more greater, but here is less than the weight.